Hi, I'm Magda Ketterer, East Asian Art Specialist at McTears Auctioneers and today I'd like to talk to you about Chinese Fami Overt in general and in particular this Fami Overt lidded vase which is in the sale on Tuesday the 12th of March. Porcelain is a collective term for all ceramic ware that is white and translucent. The Chinese tradition recognises two primary categories of ceramic, that's high-fired and low-fired. The oldest Chinese dictionaries define porcelain as fine, compact pottery. Chinese ceramic wares can also be classified as northern or southern. Present-day China comprises two separate and geologically different land masses brought together by the action of continental drift and forming a junction that lies between the Yellow River and the Yangtze River. The contrasting geology of the north and south led to differences in the raw materials available for making ceramics. The name China comes from the translation of Changnan, which was the old name for the porcelain town of today's Jingdezheng. During the Tang Dynasty, people combined the advantages of celadon from the southern Yu Kiln and white porcelains from the northern Jingkin Kiln with the high quality earth of the Gaoling Mountain in Changnan town. This produced a kind of white and green porcelain. This porcelain was smooth and bright and hence earned its name of artificial jade. It became famous both in China and elsewhere and it was exported to Europe in large quantities since people in Europe didn't yet know how to make porcelain. Commonly used French terms for famille or palettes of colour enamel used on Chinese porcelain are famille jaune, noir, rose and vert. Famille vert, adopted in the Kangxi, uses green and iron red with other overglazed colours. The lidded jar in Tuesday's Asian Works of Art auction is a stunning example of famille vert porcelain. Decorated with panels depicting courtesan pavilion scenes, the ground with emblems including fans, vases, Rui scepters and butterflies within wide floral borders, the jar is truly a work of art. With an auction estimate of three to five thousand pounds, one can expect many eyes on lot 300 as it goes under the hammer at McTears on Tuesday the 12th of March from 5pm.